Welcome to Grow With Us, where we show you daily life on our small farm and teach you ways that you can grow at home. Today is potato planting day. Now for years, my dad and grandpa would always say that Good Friday is the day to plant potatoes, but I never really understood why. I did some research and it turns out that this has been a tradition for hundreds and hundreds of years. In the 1600s, when potatoes were first starting to show up in Europe, people were scared of them. They thought they were evil. So they planted them on Good Friday thinking that that religious holiday would offer them some protection. Some people even went so far as to sprinkle holy water on their gardens before they planted them. Now there's lots of garden folklore like this. I've heard things like you should plant peas when the daffodils bloom and that you should plant corn when an oak leaf is the size of a squirrel's ear. Do any of these actually matter? I don't know. But it turns out that Good Friday is a pretty good time to plant potatoes because we're starting to get to the end of our cold nights and starting to get to a time where it's not going to frost at night anymore. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and plant these on Good Friday and follow in our family tradition. Before I start planting these, let me show you what we did a couple days ago to get ready to plant potatoes. Okay, so I have my seed potatoes here, and I wanna be ready to be able to plant these by Good Friday. So this is two days before that, and so I've gotta do a little bit of prep. Now, you might be wondering, what's the difference between the potatoes in this picture that I'm gonna eat and a seed potato? Well, there really isn't any difference. Technically, you could plant potatoes from your pantry, uh, and they would grow just fine. Seed potatoes, though, are typically certified disease-free. And so what that means is not a disease like we could get, but a disease for the potatoes. And so people who are growing potatoes, like farmers who are growing potatoes, they wanna make sure they get disease-free potatoes because they don't wanna have any issues with any plant diseases. So do the potatoes in your pantry have diseases? Eh, probably not, they might, we don't know for sure. So if you're gonna plant in the garden and you want a good harvest, it's better to get seed potatoes but if you're at home, you have some potatoes and you wanna try planting them, you could go ahead and do that. Now, you may notice these potatoes look a little weird and you may have seen some potatoes in your pantry doing this before. So these are called the eyes. And if you look closely, you can see there's a number of these eyes all over the potato. Potatoes do this naturally. This is how they reproduce. And so the brand new potato plant is gonna grow from this eye. This potato is gonna be the mother and then any new potatoes are gonna grow below that underground. Potatoes are called tubers. So I could plant this entire potato. You can see I have a whole bag of these. I could just plant the whole thing, but if I wanna get as many potatoes planted as I can, I can cut these apart so that each one has one or two eyes on it, and then I can make sure that I have more potatoes to plant. All right, so I happen to have a pocket knife. You could use a kitchen knife. You just need to be really careful. You do want it to be sharp. And all I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure I cut it so that this has a couple eyes on it and this one has a couple eyes on it as well. So I'm gonna leave those there. This one is gonna be a little trickier. It looks like there's some eyes down there. So I'm gonna kinda cut it at an angle so that there's a couple eyes on each one. Now I'm gonna go through this whole bag of potatoes and divide them out so that I have as many potatoes to plant as I can. Now, I could do this on the day that I wanna plant and directly plant these potatoes into the ground. The problem is that these cuts need to heal. And so what can happen if you plant potatoes like this right after you cut them is it allows diseases and pests to get in there and it will hurt the tomato, or not tomatoes, uh, potato plant, and uh, it will make it not grow as well. And so what I'm gonna do is leave these sitting in this nice cool workshop for a couple days and that cut is gonna heal over and kind of scab over like, a, like we would get a scab like on our skin. And then in two days time, when those have started to scab over, then I'm gonna plant those potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and uh, next time you see me, we'll be ready to plant. All right, so I've got my tiller started. I already put down some fertilizer and use a composted pelleted chicken manure. And so my first step is to till our garden bed.
we've tilled up our 50 foot long bed to plant our five pounds of seed potatoes. We can expect to get about 50 plus pounds of potatoes out of that bed when we actually harvest it. Now, obviously we have tons of room to plant a garden. You may not have that at home. So you could plant in something as simple as a bucket. We have a five gallon bucket here. And this is a potato that I got out of our pantry that you can see has eyes on it. So I could cut this up and fill this bucket up halfway with soil and plant this potato in it. Potatoes are really interesting because whatever part of the stem is buried, more potatoes will grow from that. So once we plant these and they start to grow, we'll come through with a shovel and hill dirt up onto those stems so that we get more and more potatoes. You could do the same thing in your bucket. Fill it halfway up, plant it, let it grow six or eight inches, and then start adding more and more soil on top of it, leaving a few inches of that, of those leaves and stems sticking out so it can still grow. So if you wanna try this at home, you don't have room for a big garden, you could do something as simple as in a bucket on your back deck and try it out and see if you could grow your own potatoes. All right, so I have my pieces of my seed potato. They may not look a whole lot different than they did a couple days ago, but they feel a lot different. They've really scabbed over, and this is gonna really protect them and keep diseases from getting in and, and hurting our potato harvest. So I'm gonna plant them with the eyes up, and I'm gonna do them about one every foot all the way down the row here. All right, so I'll finish this. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy growing and happy potato planting.